Thanks for watching. We appreciate you. Please, please subscribe. Cases of flesh eating bacteria this year. The bacteria thrives in flood water. And because of that, as West Tree's Amanda Dukes reports, officials believe the surge is being driven in the county, hit hardest by Hurricane Ian. Parts of Florida hit hardest by Hurricane Ian are seeing nearly double the normal number of infections from a flesh eating bacteria that thrives in coastal flood waters. According to the Florida Department of Health, so far in 2022, Florida has seen 65 cases and 11 deaths from the bacterium. That compares with 34 cases and 10 deaths in 2021. The only central Florida counties with reported cases this year are Brevard with two cases and no deaths, and Seminole with one case and one death. Compare that to Lee County, where Hurricane Ian made landfall, it has 29 cases and four deaths. UCF professor Dr. Salvador Almagro Moreno is an expert in flesh-eating bacteria. He says considering the expansive flooding from Ian, he's not surprised at the spike. People that might not be in contact with bacteria during normal times, because of the, the water uh, and the coastal water getting inside uh, the land, uh, just increases the contact. That's, and also, to, to people that are going to have a wound because they're going to be carrying things, it's going to be like it's basically creating the perfect environment for, uh, for transmission of disease. Scientists say flesh eating bacteria primarily thrives in salt water, and the flooding that we saw here in central Florida was mostly fresh water. They say that's why we didn't see more cases here. Doctors say for those with weakened immune systems, an infection with flesh-eating bacteria can be life-threatening. Dr. Moreno's advice is simply to avoid brackish floodwaters whenever possible. Amanda Dukes reporting, WISH 2 News. Thanks for watching. We appreciate you. Please, please subscribe.